Hey guys, my name is Zach and this is GG Fistbump. In this video, we'll be talking about one of the easiest ways to exploit your PS2 and that is through free DVD boot. Now the thing is, this exploit was released 20 years after the launch of the original PS2. Although it has been a bit too late, the PS2 still has a huge following up to this date. As they say, it's better late than never. So how do we do this exploit? Let's find out. But first, roll the intro. If you're new to my channel, it would really help if you would click and subscribe, then hit on that notification bell to stay up to date with my latest videos. I do gaming related reviews, tutorials, documentaries, and gameplays. So what is free DVD boot? Basically, it is a PS2 DVD player exploit. If you have a PS2 Slim with a certain DVD player version, having this allows you to burn your own PS2 homebrew disc and play them on a console that has not been modified. The PS2 will be reading this as a DVD movie and will use its DVD player to run it. With Ulaunch Elf as the initial program, users can unlock multiple homebrew programs. You'd be able to install Freenock Boot on your memory card or you can also install Fortuna Project if you want to. Free DVD Boot is still pretty much an ongoing development so we may get additional support in the future. As of the making of this video, Free DVD Boot works on PS2 Slim models with the DVD version 3.04, 3.10, and 3.11. So how do we find out our DVD player version? Let's power on our PS2 and find out. Okay, so first boot your PS2 without any disc inserted. Wait for your PS2 to load its menu. Afterwards, press on triangle to identify which DVD player version your console has. As mentioned earlier, you should have DVD player version 3.04, 3.10, or 3.11, and I have 3.10G over here. The exploit is still early in terms of support for different versions, so just check on the GitHub link which I'll be placing on the description for more support. Hopefully over time, other developers from this team will also contribute support for additional DVD player versions. So after confirming that you can indeed run free DVD boot, head over to your PC and go to the GitHub page in the description of this video. Props to Seether who made this exploit possible. Okay, so in the site, you can find the text of the tutorial there if you want to read it. We've already done step 1, which is to identify the DVD player version. So afterwards, just go to the pre-built ISOs folder and download the ISO of your supported DVD player version. If you have 3.04, download the 3.04 only, all regions, English lang that ISO. If you have 3.10, you can go to the 3.10 ISO, and if you have 3.11, you can go to the 3.11 ISO. But there is also the 3.10 and 3.11 hybrid, meaning by using this ISO, you can use this both for 3.10 and 3.11, which can be useful if you have two different PS2 models with different DVD player versions. So what we'll do is that we'll be downloading the hybrid file. We'll click on this link and then click on download. Once downloaded, go get a program that would burn the ISO into a blank DVD disc. I'm using a DVD minus R, but I've seen a DVD plus R work as well. So as for the disc burning program, I am using free ISO burner. I'll place a link in the description below so that you can download it as well. So place your blank DVD disc on your drive. Open the free ISO burner program. On ISO file, click on open and look for your free DVD ISO installer, which in my case is the hybrid file. Lower your burn speed and then choose burn. Just wait for this process to finish, it will just take a couple of minutes. Thank you. 
close and then eject the DVD. Head back to your PS2 and run this disc. So here is my PS2 Slim with model 70006 with DVD player version 3.10G and we also have here the DVD disc with free DVD boot. So just put that in and open your PS2. From there you'll see that the disc will be recognized as a DVD video then it's gonna load into the ulaunch.elf program. Okay, cool. So now you can navigate to your memory card which is labeled MC or you can go to your flash drive which is labeled as MASS. And from there, you can use this as an entry point to easily install free Mac boot from your USB to your PS2 memory card or perhaps put Fortuna project on your memory card. At this point, let's try installing free Mac boot. To install free Mac boot, you must have a PS2 memory card and a USB flash drive. The process is pretty much the same from my previous video, how to install free Mac boot on PS2 memory card to play games via USB. We just use a different method to run the exploit, which in this case is free DVD boot. So to install free Mac boot, insert your flash drive to your PC and download this free Mac boot installer package. This is version 1.95. I'll place a link in the description below. After download, all you have to do is to copy all the contents to your USB flash drive. Once you do that, just eject your flash drive. Okay, so let's just take a quick look at our PS2 memory card. As you can see, there is no data inside. So let's just go back to our PS2, insert your free DVD boot disk, and then plug in your flash drive. Power on your console. Next, go down to the mass folder, choose free macboot installer.elf, and if you did all of that, free macboot will now load up. Now let me explain all these. Install is the normal installation of free macboot onto your memory card, and it would only work with your PS2. Multi-install installs free macboot onto the memory card and allows it to run with other compatible PS2s. This is what online resellers do. Uninstall free macboot removes free macboot, while uninstall multi-install downgrades your free macboot onto a normal installation. I'll go with just install, then click on yes. For the installation type, normal basically means that the free macboot will work on your own PS2. Cross-regional means that you'd be able to use it across multiple PS2 consoles with different regions, whether it would be US, Europe, Japan, or whatever. While cross-model means you'll be able to use it in one region, let's say USA, but you can use it in let's say a PS2 Slim or a PS2 Fat. In my case, I only have a PS2 Slim, so I'll just go with the normal install. And now, it's installing the 1.95 package. Now the thing with this package is that it doesn't install all programs inside the package right away. We'll try to fix that. So let me just quit the program.
turn off your PS2 and remove free DVD boot. Then, proceed to turning on your PS2 so that it may load free MacBoot. Now, when you look at your free MacBoot menu, you'll see that it doesn't have the programs that are mapped by default, such as OPL, ESR, Simple Media System. To fix that, just go back to you launch ELF, press X, press Circle, go to Mass, press Circle, go to Install, press Circle, then go on to the boot folder. Press R1, then click on Copy to copy the folder. Then, keep going back by pressing on Triangle. Go to Memory Card 0. And then, click on R1 again to paste the boot folder. Since there's already a boot folder over here, just overwrite it with your copied folder. After that, you're done! Just restart your PS2, and when you open it back up, you'll now find your other programs, such as OPL, which you can use to run games off a USB flash drive, you have ESR, SMS, you can also add more programs if you want. So that's about it. You now have free MacBoot on your PS2. And with that, I think we're done. If you found this video helpful, interesting, or entertaining, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel, then hit on that notification bell for more content just like this. Again, I am Zach, and this is GG Fistbump.